We're holding out for a hero. Unfortunately, it's this guy who answers the call and doesn't quite fit the bill. This is Sega Masters. be obvious by this early looking title screen, but what we have this time around is a side-scrolling beat-em-up. One of the first for the Master System. The genre was certainly coming into its own in the mid-1980s, with titles like Kung Fu Master, Karate Champ, and Renegade leading the way. After seeing some of the aforementioned names appear on the NES, Sega decided to bring their own arcade brawler to their console. Sadly, they went with this port of a forgotten yet slightly off-kilter coin-up, known as Senshun Scandal in Japan, It even tried to stuff it onto a Sega card. So here you are, walking in the park with your best girl, when a punk known as Mohican ambushes you, then takes off with your woman in his arms. After getting over the embarrassment of what just happened, you embark on a mission to inflict some vigilante justice on Mohican's gang, looking to confront the ringleader himself to get your girl back. As mentioned earlier, My Hero originated in the arcades and was developed by Corland, but distributed by Sega themselves. On the surface, it was your usual affair of taking on wave after wave of low-life clones with some punches and jump kicks that send them flying. However, the arcade added a certain what-the-heck factor by having you travel back through time to ancient Japan and forward to a Planet of the Apes-style future. Definitely not your usual belt scroller. The home version we're looking at tries to follow the coin up to the best it can, and the gameplay seems pretty close at first. Most of your foes are copies of the same guy, but a few different baddies wield weapons you have to dodge, such as bottles, knives, and bombs. Though if you're quick, you can kick the bottles back at your foes to take a bunch of them out. The game also tosses in some platforming challenges, as well as obstacles to be avoided, including spiked balls, bombs, flames, and others. Not to mention killer animals, such as bulldogs, hogs, and even bullet-shooting frogs. Yes, Mohican has somehow turned even the local fauna against you. Graphics-wise, the sprites are fairly close to the coin-up, but the arcade's bright-colored backgrounds and settings have been replaced by an ugly green palette for just about everything, including the sky. Should you reach the end of the stage, you face Mohican himself in a one-on-one -on -one Street Fighter-style showdown on the beach, where you try to be the first to inflict the most hits while your opponent tries to do the same. If you're successful in hitting him enough times to knock him out, you rescue your girl and enjoy a nice sunset together, just before Mohican sucker punches you and snatches her away again. And therefore you'll have to rescue her all over again on the next stage and the one after that. Thing is, neither of the other arcade levels made it into this port. Instead, you play through reworked versions of the first level that try to mimic the layouts from the missing coin-up stages. But you're still seeing the same things with the same boss fight with Mohican at the end. I'm not sure whether it's due to the limitations of the Sega card format, or just lazy programming. In addition to the repetitive graphics, the same background tune plays over and over and you'll grow tired of it in no time. But what really sinks this game is its horribly unfair difficulty level. One hit from anything kills you, even if the thugs just barely touch you, plus they can easily overwhelm you since they respawn almost instantly. Even if you manage to fight the swarm off, one guy always manages to get in the cheap shot to fail you. The platforming sections are just as bad since the obstacles leave you little to no room for error, and foes are always placed in cheap locations. Once you perish, you start a few steps back, often forcing you to repeat the obstacles you struggled to clear in the first place, driving the frustration even above Ninja Gaiden levels. Finally, if you lose all your lives, it's back to the beginning with no continues. 
Then again, the repetitive gameplay and visuals give you no reason to keep playing after the first level, especially since this game has no ending. The three stages just cycle over and over, meaning you never get the final satisfaction of saving your girl for good, which is pretty demoralizing when you think about it. So anyway you slice it, My Hero is a complete dud of a Master System game. There is just nothing redeeming about this title with its monotonous action, ugly graphics, and infuriating challenge, plus the fact that it's a port of a game that wasn't even good to begin with and forgotten for good reason. Better beat-em-ups are out there for the Sega, so this hero can go back to being a zero in my book. <laughs>